Not even on. Hashtag thumbnail. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, turtles and frogs, I introduce the latest addition to the Plex Media all-in-one experience title. Now, I am not going to be using this video for any kind of a review for the subscription service known as Tidal. Instead, I wanna talk a little bit about the integration into Plex and you know what I feel about it, I guess. Now, you're gonna have to forgive me here. I am not a huge music fan. I don't you know, go out and actively seek music for you know, downloading consumption or collection or anything like that. Uh, so I don't know if Tidal has caught on and become like a big thing or if they're still just pushing it, trying to make it a thing. But if you're not familiar with it, Tidal is a music subscription service that you can you know, pay a monthly fee for and you can browse and find and, and collect like, you know, playlists for different types of music genres and stuff like that. I mean, it's a music service and there's a bunch out there, so I don't really know what else to say about it. However, Plex has a new partnership with Tidal to bring that Tidal service to your Plex app, your Plex interface, your Plex clients, stuff like that, just to make it easier to you know, launch all different types of you know, media from your Plex app without having to go into other apps to do things like stream music, for example. Now the integration is key here. I mean, if you go to the title website, you can sign up for an account and you get 30 days for free. So you don't get anything special aside from the whole integration into Plex. However, since Plex has been actively working on being an all-in-one solution app, anything from the news, the podcast, your t live TV, your movies, TV shows that you own, etc. I mean, integrating the music into it has already been a thing in the past, but it's always relied again on something that you already own yourself or you store on your own media server. But now now with the title subscription integration, it allows you to listen and stream to all different types of music without actually owning said music or holding said music on your server. And that to me is where I like the integration with Plex, even though I don't listen to a bunch of music, adding it to one app so you can easily access it anytime you want to, I think is actually kind of cool. So with that whole integration in mind, let's talk about how you actually set it up. So when I went to the Plex.tv website, I was automatically greeted with a pop-up to sign up for a free trial with Tidal. And really walking through this whole setup process just incorporates creating a Tidal account and then Plex ties the rest in to your actual Plex account with Plex.tv, even though you still get a title account, it's still kind of managed by Plex, but I'll cover that in here in a minute. So it walks you through the setup process and like you might have suspected already for this free trial, it does require you to enter in a credit card number and it is one of those things where it's like, hey, sign up to try this and if you forget to cancel it, we're gonna charge you. I mean, it is what it is, just something to keep in mind. A lot of free trials are like that, but just keep that in mind. You do need a credit card and you do need to remember to cancel it if you don't like it. As a little side note, Tidal actually has two different options. You can pay $8.99 for the regular music streaming service or you can pay $18. 99 for higher quality music. So there's that. Actually, side side note, if you don't have a Plex Pass and you sign up for the title, then you get 30 days free of a Plex Pass. So there's that, that. But anyways, you go through the setup process and then boom, it's automatically integrated with your Plex account. And now from your main server page, from your server drop down menu, you have the option to select title as a server. And because this is a subscription service, you are not hosting this stuff yourself. No, you do not need a Plex media server in order to use the Plex interface to have all of this in one area. And I say this specifically because hypothetically, if you don't have a Plex media server, but you still wanna get things like Plex news, Plex podcast and now the Plex title integration all in one app, you can do that without actually needing to host your own Plex media server. So, you know, neat. But once you select title as your server, you have access to what they advertise to be 59 million different songs with more than 250,000 music videos. So now you select the title as a server, you have access to all this wonderful and glorious music and now what? Well, this is where my whole review thing comes in and the integration that you get from Tidal to Plex, and in my opinion, is actually somewhat limited. 
I think there's a lot of growth here that, that Plex needs to do in order to fully integrate Tidal into Plex to make it a great experience overall. As a reminder, I'm not a music fan and I don't use services like this, so you know I'm definitely new to this entire thing, but I do want to say that there is a huge difference, I mean a huge difference, from the actual Tidal website to the Plex version of what Tidal has to offer. When I first started browsing through this screen, I was looking for ways to discover new music. I mean, it was riddled with, you know, hip hop music music and rap music and stuff like that, but I wanted to see what else there was to offer. And I was really hoping for something like a genre tab or a discover thing or something that would allow me to, you know, browse other types of music instead of just you know, what title was trying to get me to listen to. But that was actually kind of hard to find. I, I did browse through and I tested some things and saw how things played and, you know, it was all very seamless and smooth and really have no complaints with how it plays, but I wanted to see what else was on title. So to look for somebody that I was familiar with, I went up to the search bar, search for Luke Combs, and I was able to find music by him that I really, I mean, honestly, I have no idea how to get to hit to his music without directly searching for his name, at least from the Plex screen. Now, after kind of fumbling around this whole intro screen with Plex, I decided to actually go directly to the Tidal website. With the Tidal website, I can log in with my newly created trial account, and wow, the whole music experience just kind of opens up to me. I can go through and I can select genre and discover different artists. I can, you know, look for Billboard top 100s or whatever. I mean, I was able to find, you know, a thousand times more music than what I was able to find with the regular splash or home screen on Plex. So if I had to be critical on anything here, I would say that although I do, you know, admire the whole integration with Plex, I do wish Plex is just a little bit more advanced in this integration that allows somebody like me who maybe doesn't know artists or music that well, the ability to discover, you know, different genres or different styles or whatever, you know, maybe different moods. I don't know. Something. Something besides what they showed on the front page. So of course, when it comes to music, playlists are a big deal. So if you can't discover new music or it's difficult to discover new music, you might run into kind of, I don't know, a stagnant playlist. Uh, so I went to the Tidal website. I found some different types of music. I created some test playlists and I can say that those playlists that I created on Tidal automatically carried over to the Plex integrated version of Tidal. So everything there was still seamless and overall a good experience. It was just, I had to go to Tidal to get that initial experience, and then I can go to Plex to enjoy the rest of the experience. At least that's my experience. And really that's what this entire video comes down to is the, the integration with Plex and Tidal and it's there, but I think that it's better if you really establish your Tidal experience directly with the subscription service itself and then you can enjoy it on the go or whatever you wanna do, you know, through Plex easily once you've kind of sort of established your playlist and established your personal likes and dislikes and stuff like that. But hey, it's still an interesting add-on to Plex. Definitely adds to that whole all-in-one experience that you get with just one single app loading all kinds of different media content for you to consume wherever you want to consume it. But before I close out this video, I do want to circle back to that whole trial thing. If this is something you want to try and this is something you're willing to put your credit card up for, if you want to cancel it, keep in mind that you cannot cancel it through Tidal, at least not without calling their customer service, I assume. When I was making this video and running through the test, I was like, okay, I'm gonna set this up, I'm gonna explore it, I'm gonna get my video footage and, and kind of see what it's like, but I'm gonna make sure I cancel it because I don't want this service in the future. I literally just want to make a video about it. So I went into the Tidal account management and to my subscription page and it's like, oh, you can't do this, contact customer support. There was like that little thing in the back of my head saying, oh, it's a scam. But I actually quickly realized that in order to cancel the subscription, I had to log into the Plex.tv website, go to my subscriptions there, and cancel it from that page. Not with the Tidal website, but with the Plex.tv website. So if you're going down this path, just keep that in mind. So guys, that's my initial thoughts on this whole Tidal music experience. Let me know what you think about this service and the integration with Plex. Uh, let me know if maybe you've used Tidal in the past and why maybe you think this service is better than something else that is out there. Honestly, I use Pandora personally, if I like have a long drive. And I like the Pandora app because I can create a station and say, you know, hey, I wanna listen to Linkin Park and it will play, you know, Linkin Park and music that's like Linkin Park or Eminem or whatever I type in and it's just kind of auto ad stuff and 
I can like and dislike from there. But I guess I kind of sort of like that kind of service. I don't know if Tidal has that. I just canceled my service as fast as possible. So let me know what you think though. Comments down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, post those in the comments as well. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good day. I go down to the honky tonk, I go down to the honky tonk, I go down, I go down to the honky tonk, I go down to the honky tonk, I go down to the honky tonk, I don't know any more words to this song, I only know the catchphrase or what it's called, I don't know, I'm not a music person at all I can't sing I sound like a dying horse I know it's bad but I try but not publicly oh jeez funny thing is not even plugged in I really hope nobody actually like recognizes these headphones. They're like, oh, Jason, you know, uh, those are they're, those are USB headphones. Uh, what'd you have them plugged into, bro? Your butthole.